best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Doc's Box Reviews. We're talking about Brett the Hitman Hart, A-N-E W-W-E biography. Finished watching it last night. This biography opens up with Brett Hart as an artist. He enjoys drawing cartoons. And with this particular biography, I guess because Brett Hart enjoys drawing cartoons, they decided to do a little bit of animation and do some cartoon stuff throughout. Uh, so you're going to see, see that throughout the biography. It's a little odd to have it in there, but it is comical and it does relate to him. It's just because it wasn't in the other biographies, it just kind of caught me off guard like, whoa, there's cartoons in this one. <laughs> but it does relate to Brett because he enjoys it. So I, I see the tie in there. So you're going to see that we all wanted to be that kid that got his glasses. And I remember that. I remember being a kid and he would always pass them out. I was like, man. I hope I can go to a live event one day and get his glasses. I did end up going to a live WWF uh, showing Monday Night Raw, and I ended up going to a WCW pay-per-view. But when I went to WWF, Bret Hart wasn't there. And when I went to WCW, Bret Hart wasn't there. So there was no chance of me ever getting those glasses. Plus, I wasn't sitting front row anyway. <laughs> but anyway, back to the biography. I will say I enjoyed this biography it's not for both wrestling and non-wrestling fans it's going to only be for wrestling fans it wasn't my favorite biography but i did still enjoy it we get to see a little bit about his childhood he has a huge family a brief history on Stu hart's beginnings which is his dad the entire family is involved in wrestling in some way you get to see the origins of the Hart Foundation, Bret Hart, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, and Jimmy Hart as the manager. We also get to see the reason for his singles run was because fan mail was pouring in for him. I did not know that. That was something I found very interesting. You know, he was teamed up with Jim the Anvil Neidhart, and Vince came to him and said, we're getting fan mail more for you than anybody else in the company. We need to push you on a singles run. So that was pretty cool. You get to see his match with Mr. Perfect. You get to see the match and storyline with his brother-in-law, the British Bulldog, his WWF Championship run, his rivalry with Owen Hart at WrestleMania 10. You also get to see brief acting in Lonesome Dove, which is something I didn't know about. His loyalty to Vince McMahon and WWE over WCW. His heel turn, but only in America. His rivalry with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Shawn Michaels and his sunny days comment. This was something I was really surprised about because it showed Bret Hart's home life and how he was struggling in his marriage. And that sunny days comment, you know, kind of added fuel to the fire and his real life animosity with HBK, Bret Hart's reluctant move to WCW. And then the two biggest talking points are obviously his brother, Owen Hart's death, and the Montreal screw job. So those are all the things that you're gonna to get to see if you watch this biography. It's about an hour and 25 minutes. I enjoyed it. There are a few parts of his career I know about Bret Hart that were glossed over. I guess they didn't feel like rehashing it or you can catch it other places. But overall, it's a really good biography. You get to hear from Bret Hart himself. And uh, so if you are ever a fan of the Hitman, I highly encourage you to go check it out. All right, guys, have a great day.